Action. Hello and good morning. This morning we are going to show you how to find the TDC position of your OM606 because it's a little bit different to other engines that are out there and the reason being the crankshaft is not in the center line of the engine. So let's delve straight in. As you can see some of the equipment I've already got ready here, the dial gauge which is reading the height at the top of the piston and I am just about to install this which is the adjustable pointer. So the 606 is a little different to some engines in that the pointer is um, sorry, the markers, as in the positional markers, are on the pulley, whereas some engines, the markers obviously will be on the, uh, on the fixed position, on the fixed part, but it's the same thing. You either will have one line on there and then a load of dots on there, or blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so you want to loosely install this so that you can move it backwards and forth like this, so it moves. Hopefully not too, somewhat like that. And then the pulley, which I've just put on loosely as I'm assembling this engine, we're gonna just, we're not gonna tighten it, but I want it to be back against the, just enough so that you can see that. And also, um, we're going to be turning the engine over with the bolt so there'll be a little bit of movement on there now i've got the new cam chain loosely sat in there um, and you're going to want to be careful with that because obviously when there's no tension on this chain if you start rotating it it can bind up and get caught there's like a little tab of aluminium in the front case so don't let that happen I'm just going to get a spanner i know what you're thinking the spanner looks a lot like a ratchet, but it's not. This is this is a spanner. Um, so what we're going to do is zero this dial gauge first. So if we come in, what we want to do is we can see the pistons already at the top. We're going to just rotate it a little bit clockwise and you can see the dial gauge is going down. We're going to rotate it anti-clockwise and you can see it just gets to that point, which is just before zero. So let's, what we want to do is rotate this. And then try again. So we want the needle on zero. Okay, so that's anti-clockwise. Forgot to put your phone on silent, did you? Um, clockwise. Oh, it's just going to, a hair past that zero. Now obviously you can be as anal as you like with this and get it bang on. Let's try again. Yeah, there we go. I'm happy now. Okay, so now because the crankshaft is offset in this engine, we have to rotate this front pulley, front crankshaft, we're going to rotate it clockwise until that dial gauge gives us a measurement of 3.23 millimetres down. So you're going to watch the dial rotate. So every full rotation of the needle is one millimetre. So we're going to watch it go one, two, three, and then 0.23 and then we're going to stop and then I'm going to show you what's next. All right, so let's do that first. So let's turn the engine clockwise and let's watch that needle go around. That's one, two, and three, right? And it's 3.23. So we're going to go, that's point one, that's point two. Now don't overshoot the point three like I just did, where I just went to four. Just pull it back a good amount and then go back again. Don't be tempted to just tap it back. Sometimes you don't really want to tap it. You're tempted to tap it. I was tempted. Did you see my hand go to tap it then? There. 
that's 3.23. Um, right, so now what you're going to do is this marker, if you look here, you can see the markings on the front pulley. This front pulley has yet to be um, engraved. So this is an old one that obviously is going to get repainted and all sorts of things. But one of the, the pet hates that I have with these pulleys is that they are painted on and it rubs off. So when I build an engine for a customer, these get blasted off and then all the markings get engraved back on. Anyway, the point is we want, when that's at 3.23 mil, we want this pointer, this side of it, the flat side, to be pointing bang on 20, which is right there, 20, yeah? So I'm gonna just tighten that up, or I'm gonna try to, with these Allen keys, which I should have had ready, really. <clears throat> So just make sure it's bang on, because there was no point going to all the effort with a dial gauge if you're not gonna. Tighten it up. Now obviously that is a really critical um, marker and measurement. So what I would advise, get some Tipex paint pen or anything like that that you can find and mark that, you know, make a, a real obvious paint, painted marking on it so that if it ever came loose or there was a problem, you will be able to find that position quite easily again. Um, it's just worth that extra bit of time to do that. Uh, and then that's it, pretty much. And do you, the interesting bit of this process, because this is done now, that that's... When we turn that back to zero, that gives us our TDC position. Are you interested to know um, how far offset the 606 crank is? You know, if you were to do it the traditional way by finding the top of the piston and, and going in the middle, are you interested to know how far out or how far wrong you would be? I'll show you. So if we turn this back to zero, oh, should I say, if we turn this back to where the dial gauge zero is, not this zero. So one, two. Did I just, I, I didn't count that right at all. <laughs> um, right, so dial gauge is back to zero. Hang on, let's get that perfect position. About there. And as you can see on the pulley, which is obviously in a bit of a state, it's about a degree off. I know that's a really bad example, but if I get something to point for you. So zero is here, or just in. So you can see it's about a degree off. They sit about a degree off zero. Interesting that, isn't it? So there you go. Top tip for the day, get your crankshaft and align it correctly. Goodbye for now.